What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for cooling with Jay as always, man. So, in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about a topic that I have come into counter with, uh, you know, the past two uh, years I have been on YouTube. And, you know, there's some good and bad to it, so I figured I'd kind of vent and talk about it in this video. hit me up right that wanted to collab all right and they sort of name drop it like hey i know this artist i know this producer i i'm trying to shoot a, a music video and i'm like dope i'm thinking i'm about to get paid right but then they turn around and tell me well like basically because they know all of these people that that's their payment like basically hey you help me help you um, by you shooting the content of me and my rap video or whatever and basically my notoriety is your payment <laughs> I'm like you can't bro it's just it's just dog it's crazy man it's also frustrating because I'm like I don't think people realize how much energy goes into real video editing right I watch a lot of different YouTubers right and a lot of people record with their phone they record with basic cameras they have basic video editing software and guys i am not knocking anybody who does that right i'm not knocking it but i'm also saying don't think that you're going to get my quality of editing at a walmart price right now i'm not saying i'm steven spielberg status but basically people are trying to get walmart value for, sorry, they're they're trying to get a Ferrari worth of video quality at a Walmart value. Like that's like that's like you walking into the Ferrari dealership and say, "Hey, are you running any you know sales?" Right? Do you ever see a commercial of Ferrari saying, "Hey, this is our uh, you know our, our our summer sales event or our end of the year event where we're giving this percent off our our Ferraris?" No, it doesn't happen. 
because it's at such a quality that you're going to have to pay for it. Now, again, I'm not saying I'm the most, you know, the best editor or videographer on the planet, but man some of these stories guys i've had over the past and it's funny because people ask me like hey man like you know how, how how often do you get clients i get I, I do get video clients but at the same time guys i get a ton of people who like like that you know like and i'm like you can't you can't put a roi on the fact of and here's the and dog here's the kicker guys is this person had like i don't know 800 followers so they're trying to say oh because of they rap and they have oh my god i have 4,000 followers on instagram and again i'm not anybody special but i'm like you got less followers than me you got less notoriety than me and you want me to give you free video work because you're a rapper or 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 a fitness person or something that it is it is crazy man so that's what pretty much what this video is about man it's it's i've getting into being an entrepreneur and self-employed about how much entitlement is in the world like how many people think because they got a certain amount of i mean now if you got a million followers or something i'm i mean i can't knock it i mean hey that's great you know good for you but but i don't think people really understand how much energy goes into video editing and i'm realizing that right it's one of those it's, it's like uh um what's the other one um programming right people don't get how much how how intensive programming is right like this dash for instance we, we look at this dash and we're like oh yeah you know it better read out certain rpm when i rev or when i take off but somebody had to program it to do that and that's intensive man hours and it's just it's just crazy because i feel like videography is the same thing it's a dying art i won't say it's dying but people don't appreciate it they think oh you just you just like copy and paste like a word document right you, you take something in word you copy paste it you put it in there and there's your video and i'm like man you are so so far from the truth about how much energy it takes to video edit stuff man and oh i've wanted to work with a lot of people you know over this past year but it's it's so time consuming to make content and then people don't understand that basically here's what i'll say in just my opinion you as the person doing whatever the craft is isn't as labor intensive as the person who has to edit all of that right like i've edited for example i edited uh what was it it was it was eight people okay so this is for christmas it was eight people um thanking their boss right for for how for how great he was right eight people okay answered three different questions okay so you have three times eight is 64. so you had 64 basically little 10 second snippets i had to cut into you know into a, a into a, into a video right and then you know having to cut out when they stuttered or had to start over and all of that kind of stuff guys it took me a couple hours to do it and it was basic you know no color grading no no noise really nothing but it was it was still labor intensive and it's just it's just crazy when i look around about how many people think that this is this is free or it's easy and it's not and i understand why a ton of youtubers stay away from it it's a lot of work to make high quality videos and again i still want mine to get even better you know i'm still trying to get mine to a to a, even a higher level but it's a lot of work and and what's funny is i was one of those people right i'd watch people's youtubes and i'd be like oh that's easy well, okay that seems like that seems like it's i'm like getting into the weeds of it and actually doing it myself i'm like man i want no smoke from that like it is it is no joke how hard it is no joke how hard it is to video edit guys i'm telling you i just think man we don't get an appreciation but anyway it was funny i want to share it man because like i said over the past year it's probably happened to me about 25 30 times 
I mean, even corporate offices, right? Even I work with some corporate offices trying to go in, you know, I'm pitching, I'm doing the video work, and I can do this, and I can do that. And they're impressed with the content, right? And they're impressed with the quality of the work. And then they're like, oh yeah, it's a few hundred bucks, right? And I'm like, not for that. Not for that, it's not. And what's crazy is, is all these companies know that social media is the future and all these old grandpa companies need to be on social media 24 seven, you know, posting pictures, videos, that sort of thing. But then they don't want to pay somebody who's going to make the video content to put on their page. And they're happily fine with their, with their phone quality. And I'm like, if you're going to stand out, like, at, like you know, I've gone to, guys, I've even gone to dealerships right I've even gone to dealerships too like asking them like I've even gone to dealerships guys and asked them about you know doing you know photography video content for them and they're like oh yeah yeah man we got somebody in house with all my stuff and I'm like really you're you're a Porsche dealership and you got a thousand followers and your pictures are like they were taken of an iPhone? Now, no offense, but I get Honda, right? I get how Honda is. Honda is a, you know, it's Honda, right? But if you're a high-end dealership, you need to, you need high-end photos and, and, and videos, not, not crap. But again, if that's their prerogative, it is what it is, right? Anyway, guys, something a little different today, man. Just wanted to vent about that. But this whole collaboration and how being a videographer and how people don't want to pay for crap, they don't. So, if people, I'm not breaking. Um, people want high quality, but don't want to pay for it. And that's what I've learned. They don't. They want to get everything at free or a very, very cheap cost. Anyway guys, as always, thank you for cooling with Jay, and I'll see you on the next video.